twice or thrice had I loved thee before I knew thy face or name. So in, in a voice, so in a shapeless flame, angels affect us oft, and worshipped be. Still when to where thou wert I came, some lovely glorious nothing I did see. But since my soul, whose child love is, takes limbs of flesh, and else could nothing do, more subtle than the parent is, love must not be, but take a body too. And therefore, what thou wert, and who, I bid love ask, and now that it assume thy body, I allow, and fix itself in thy lip, eye, and brow. Whilst thus to ballast love, I thought, and so more steadily to have gone, with wares which would sink admiration, I saw I had love's pinnace overfraught. Every thy hair for love to work upon is much too much, some fitter must be sought. For nor in nothing, nor in things extreme and scattering bright, can love inhere. Then, as an angel, face, and wings of air, not pure as it, yet pure, doth wear, so thy love may be my love's sphere. Just such disparity as is twixt air and angel's purity, twixt woman's love and men's, will ever be. <laughs>